Okay, so um, so this is how he uh, writes Luke in um, in the Acts of the Apostles. Um, he says the former account I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen to whom um, he, or he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many, many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Okay, And then he goes on to write about the acts of the apostles, what happened and some of the journeys where he was part of it. And, uh, uh, and, we, and we know, you know, where he... Um, uh, writes about how he was part of it, and um, and um, and then he writes about certain other other accounts as an observer. Um, but uh, this is what I want to draw our attention to. You know, so he says the former account I made. Okay, so what what is he doing? He is he is putting together, collecting the information. Um, of course, as led by the Holy Spirit, but he's putting together. This information is historical information uh, and observing, and uh, he's capturing it, writing it, so that it will be a blessing to many others. Okay, if you turn to Luke chapter one, okay, um, in Luke chapter one, verse one, this is how it starts: "In as much as many have taken in hand to set in order." A narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent. Theophilus, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed okay so what what is he doing he's saying that you know i many have taken that responsibility to to set in order a narrative okay so set in order meaning to to chronologically or to put in place a, a narrative you know they are writing an account of those things that have happened Okay. Just as those, as two says, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and uh, ministers of the word delivered them to us. So they were eyewitnesses, they were ministers, they delivered them to us. And, I, and I, I've set, put together uh, this. And verse three says, you know, it seemed good to me, having heard, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account. Okay, so what is he doing? He's putting together an orderly account in a sense, in some sort of arrangement, in order, the order in which it happened, right? So he's putting putting all that together. And um, so he's uh, writing it uh, for someone so that that's, that person would know, verse 4, that you may know the certainty of things um, uh, in which you were instructed. So Luke's gospel and the book of Acts written by you know the same person, um, this is this is what it uh, you know Luke seeks out to convey, right? So he he wants to um, um, he wants to do something. He wants to put together an orderly account, one after the other, okay, uh, successively, um, consecutively, and and then present them to um, this person Theophilus. Um, so that it can be beneficial for uh, for Theophilus. Right? Um, so it can be of some use. It, so it's particularly, he says that, uh, so that you may know the certainty of those things in which you are instructed. So these are eyewitness accounts. And I've put together these eyewitness accounts so that you may know for with certainty um, the things that have happened. So I'm sure it would have taken effort. It would have taken, you know, meeting with people. And the Holy Spirit was 
the author of the scriptures was also reminding Luke, right? So uh, he was there with the Lord Jesus, and the, the Lord Jesus said, okay, um, this is what the Holy Spirit will do. I'll go to the Father, I'll send the Holy Spirit, and he will come and he will teach, and he will remind you of my teachings, okay? So the Holy Spirit was reminding Paul of, the, uh, sorry, uh, Luke, of those things that um, uh, during the earthly ministry, the Lord Jesus taught. So here was the Holy Spirit teaching him, reminding him, leading him into all truth. And here was the Holy Spirit connecting him with people who were giving eyewitness accounts and uh, and you know, everything that was delivered to him. And he had to make that effort to put it together in an orderly manner so that it can be a blessing to those who read it. Right. So, um, you know what I'm what I'm trying to say here is that um, you know even when it comes to the research paper, right, it can be a blessing. Right. Um, like, of course, I know that we are looking at it from the perspective of okay, I need to submit something for the Bible College, and I will get some marks, and it is part of. Um, this thesis is part of, uh, uh, you know, a completion of this course, and uh, and so on. You know, it's it's something that is necessary for me to complete this course. You know, so many so many reasons for us to do this. Um, but uh, I just want us to look beyond that. You know, this whole exercise of uh, um, going deeper into the particular uh, subject, uh, trying to research, trying to find out. Uh, more about the particular about the subject, trying to find answers, you know, practical answers. How can we solve this uh, problem? And then coming out with you know, studying the word, and and then coming out with recommendations of what needs to be done. Uh, uh, you know, in in some cases it's that. Otherwise, it can be just a you know just a study of scripture um, based on the topic that you've chosen, and trying to find out okay, what does the word of God say? What does the Holy Spirit you know, how is he leading me to um, find out about this particular subject, and what is it that I can put together in an orderly fashion, in a you know, in a in a in a proper manner, so that it makes sense for the one who's reading, right? And you know, we might so uh, well. You could even you know consider uh, publishing it in the sense, uh, you know, if it's if it's if it's done in an excellent manner and a proper manner, you could even put it on the, you know, on the public domain. You can you can even you know uh, put it as a blog, um, online blog, or you can even you know uh, who is interested, you could just give a gist of it in maybe on your Facebook post or, um, and then you know uh, send them a link to it, so people could read it. You know if they are interested, and uh, it'll be a blessing. Okay, because uh, it's. Uh, you know, you invested time, and if you've done it well, uh, and if you've uh, researched the topic well, and if you've put in time and effort, um, and your findings and recommendations uh, uh, of the thesis would be would be a blessing, definitely to the body of Christ. And uh, so, I just want to encourage us to do that, right? Um, you know, as we looked at the Book of Acts, as we look at the the book of Luke, um, Gospel of Luke, and we see this is this is the intent. You know, he at the very beginning itself, he uh, he he makes it very clear. I want to put it together. Uh, I've, I want to record all that uh, the Holy Spirit is teaching us. You know, especially in the with the book of Acts, he says, you know, um, given commandments to the uh, he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, uh, etc. So. <clears throat> So here's, uh, you know, Luke really putting in the effort to put it together of all that God had done, all that God was um, was doing, all that the Holy Spirit was leading, everything the Holy Spirit was teaching. Uh, so he was uh, putting it together, okay, arranging it together. So, um, so don't. Um, I, I'm, I just want to say that you know, uh, look beyond, uh, uh, look at the bigger picture of what you're doing, and I'm sure that it'll. It'll it'll motivate you to do even more, uh, go deeper, and uh, and also it'll motivate uh, you to lean in 
to the leading of the Holy Spirit, you know, to give those connections, to put those things together, um, maybe to even lead you to some sources, um, uh, unexpected, you know, surprise sources uh, from which you can get more information and so on. But then uh, you need to, you know, of course, put in that effort and do it, right? Okay. So that's all I just wanted to share uh, today. So uh, if there's anything, any questions from your side, uh about um you know what you've been doing and uh, you know any particular challenges that you've been facing maybe some questions that you want to ask um you can do that um but otherwise i just wanted to yeah uh, maybe just share this and also just to remind you that uh, the 11th of april right we have a little less than a month uh 11th of april is the date for submission of the report right so maybe by you know, maybe by next week or the last week of April, you should start writing um, the last week of, uh, sorry, the last week of March, I'm sorry, which is, uh, you know, maybe from 28th onwards, uh, you should start writing and then, you know, um, putting things together and, uh, or even earlier, whichever, I'm just suggesting 28th of March as the, you know, as the cutoff date, you definitely need to start writing it by 28th of March, and uh, we know, you know, it's like uh, 25 pages minimum, and 30 pages maximum. So it's it's not much actually. So uh, within that, um, you need to present everything, put everything together. So um, do that, and also, um, um, yeah. So 11th, we will have that, and then uh, we have three dates for the presentations, right? If it's an for the for the e-learning students, of course, um, e-learning students, you would be sending in the videos, um, but the online students would be actually presenting in real time uh, during the class. So that's 13th, 20th, and 27th of April. So 15 minutes, right? Um, so that's the, is it 15 minutes or 10 minutes? 15 minutes. So you would have that. Okay, so to get prepared for that, so start getting, um, prepared for that so uh, start working regularly um, start working uh, consistently and um, i'm sure it'll be a, it'll be a blessing right so any any questions aaron anything you can text it um sid kanan any questions Yes, um, Kanan, I think you, you, the question is, do we have to write exactly uh, as what is prescribed in the template? Yeah, that pre the template is the, uh, the MLA format. Um, yes, you'll have to write this. Uh, that is the format, right? In terms of uh, a font, in terms of uh, how the heading should be, in terms of spacing and everything, that is the format. Right, and also, I think uh, you know I also put the guidelines right uh, at the at the beginning of the uh, class, which has uh, the MLA report format uh, guidelines, timelines, and report format. So that also has information, right? So you can go through that, and then I what I'm trying to do is to get a Word doc uh, template, which you can enter in. Uh, which you can just directly enter in, which will be you, which will be very easy. But I've, so far, I've not got that kind of a template. So if I get that, I will post it. Um, but otherwise, uh, you just have to, you know, uh, like, uh, use the template as a as a uh, as a guideline, and then you know, um, start to work on it. Right? Okay. Any other questions? About PPT, okay, what exactly is your question, Aaron? Um, so, yeah, so I said during the presentation, you can, uh, it's good if you use a PowerPoint uh, presentation other than uh, just speaking. So um, you can put the, um, some of those main points, 
um, main features. Uh, if you're presenting, uh, let's say, a map or a picture or a table, um, you know, it will uh, it will help to put it on a PowerPoint or a maybe you did some survey and you want to put you want to say okay so many people responded yes so many people responded no so it's good to present it as a table um you know maybe you want to present a graph uh, you know uh, so it'll it'll help um so so you can put that in the powerpoint and uh, and present it right you can share the problem so what you can do is like uh, you can just do a share screen so i'll um I think all of us can share screen. I don't know if, uh, um, yeah, I, I don't think there are any restrictions. So you can, of course, I can control who's sharing and uh, stop who's sharing. Yeah, so you could uh, share the PowerPoint. So you can, yeah, so we can just make, start making the PowerPoint and share it um, during your presentation. Is there anything in particular that you want to ask about the PowerPoint? um like are you familiar using a powerpoint or making a powerpoint presentation yeah then it's fine sure yeah so that's good um um Sid, yeah, go ahead. Sid. You have a question? Yeah, Pastor, if, what if, um, I mean, like, we have to put the author's name, I mean, like, wherever we get the uh, things, like, we have to put the website name or the author name, right? Yes. Yes. So, what about, yeah, yeah so, so what if, wherever you are. I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So what if it's like from our own life experience and how should we put that? Like, you know, like we yeah, yeah. know. So that you just mention it, you know, you can just mention, you know, uh, you can, you can, you can simply state that uh, as uh, your, your experience. Okay. This is what happened on such and such a date or such, such a time. You, know, you can, you could just mention that. But otherwise, if you're taking, uh, you know, you're, you're quoting someone or you've done your uh, read up on somebody's um, research and result or some article, uh, and if you're going to use that verbatim, the sense you're going to, you know, uh, put that information there uh, in the report, then you need to quote the uh, source. You need to cite the source. Um, yeah. But if it's something original, something from your I mean, from your experience or what you observed or what what really happened, um, then then that's fine, absolutely fine. You can just state that, mention that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Any other? questions or doubts yeah, feel free to email me you know if you get any any thoughts any questions you can do that as well so so i mean you don't have to wait till next wednesday um, you can even during the week if you're working on the report maybe you have some questions um yeah just clarify you can just email and Okay. Fine. Okay, so um, yeah, so I guess the others can watch the video. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to them, but uh, yeah, so they can watch the video and be updated. Um, so we'll meet again next Wednesday uh, for IRP. Right? Otherwise, anyway, we'll be meeting tomorrow. Okay. Okay, that's it from me. Right. If there's uh, nothing else, no other questions, nothing else that you want to share, we'll we'll wind up, right? We'll stop here. Okay. Fine. So then I'll I'll just let me just uh, stop the recording.